This is nice out here. Anybody recognize this? And sunrise. Palm trees are giving away my location. Good morning, Los Angeles. Oh, what's happening? What's going on? Welcome to um, welcome to LA. I'm so excited to be here. Sunrise. I'm jet lagged, which is nice. I arrived in LA yesterday, and uh, I'm in California for over a month. And I really just felt like making a video. I come to California um, to do all sorts of things, catch up with friends, do some men's work and explore and adventure and meet new people and I've come out here on my own, I'm solo missioning. Currently I'm staying with uh, my good old friend, the seven foot palm tree, Louis. Fun for Louis and Raya and their tribe here. Feeling very at home, very welcomed. And I haven't actually seen Louis for a year. So it's been so nice to catch up with him and see one of my oldest creator friends. Welcome to LA. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, yeah, I haven't made a video in a while. This kind of feels a bit weird, uh, but I'm excited to I'm excited to start filming some stuff and sharing more of what I've been what I'm going through at the moment. So yeah, I'm in California for a month and. Uh, I'm going to be working with, um, in about a week, I'm going to be going and working with these guys who have a, an organization here in Cali called uh, Sacred Sons. And they do um, masculine embodiment courses, convergences, uh, where men get together and help each other learn what it really means to be a man. And embrace everything that comes with the power of the divine masculine which is work that I've been doing as an individual uh, to a certain extent but I have been craving to find a group that I can come and work with um, a group of men who have done this work and I'm in I'm in the thick of it at the moment so I want to I want to ask for help with it and learn from people who have been through it and are going through it. Yeah, I'm really excited to share with you guys through podcasts and maybe even a couple of videos through Instagram stories, um, that journey really. And it's gonna be a deep dive. Uh, there will be tears and there will be a lot of inner work, a lot of shadow work, a lot of growth work. And I'm sure it's pretty clear by now um, to any of you guys watching any of my more recent content over the last year or two that this is all I'm interested in now. Over the last year, I've been working on um, my internal world. I've been working on my preconditioned programming that's been running these patterns in my life over and over and suddenly I've had a, have awareness over this and I wanna change it. So, and I have been changing it very successfully over the last year and now I really wanna push home um, and continue going deeper into this work, this shadow work, this inner work. Um, and a lot of a lot of people will be watching this going, what the f are you talking about, bro? And that's totally fine, because that was also me would have just gone straight over my head because it wasn't part of my journey in that moment. Um, and that's okay. I'm not here to, I'm not here anymore for necessarily your entertainment. Um, I'm just documenting what I'm doing on my journey. And if it doesn't necessarily align with what you're interested in watching on YouTube or listening to on podcasts, then that's totally cool. This content is going to be hopefully entertaining to watch. Like I'm going to be doing fun stuff and hopefully I'm going to be filming some of it as well. Um, and stepping back into co like collecting content and um, sharing parts of my life that um, I think are interesting on my YouTube channel again. Um, which is exciting, but yeah, it's not going to be the same egoic um, mess, not a mess, not a mess, it wasn't a mess, it was exactly what it needed, but the previous chapter of my life was very ego driven. Yeah, that's the calling that I've been feeling and a lot of people are feeling that calling and honouring that calling at the moment um, in the world. There's lots of aeroplanes around, so yeah, I feel like I'm just getting started on this journey. I'm really, really excited to share with you things that I learn 
from um, from the experiences that I have out here in California. Uh, we're going to be going into the desert with a huge, with a big group of men, <laughs> and we're going to be learning what it really means to be a man, what it means to embody that masculine um, power and strength, and apply it to my life um, in ways that are going to be beneficial. If you're interested in learning more about that and stick around but it's not this, this content's not going to be the same as it used to be um, and I'm certainly going to be putting my own mental health and my physical health um, before getting on board a crazy upload schedule again um, but yeah I'm excited to share more YouTube stuff yeah, I'm so excited to be in LA how are you guys doing um, I haven't been doing much yoga recently and that certainly is like interpretive yoga. I'm not actually following like any uh, routine or practice I'm just kind of like picking bits and pieces that I know roughly what to do and what feels good and stretching out and getting into my body first thing in the morning it's usually what I'm up to first thing in the morning that and meditation before I even go anywhere near my, my mobile phone has like completely changed my life highly recommend it but yeah I haven't done it for a while so it feels good to get back into my body especially after so much traveling that's kind of one of the biggest things that I've changed over the last couple of years is my morning routine is focused entirely on setting up my mind to have a less reactory day and a much smoother, less ang anxious existence throughout my day. And it's, it's a game changer. I can't, can't go back now to um, waking up first thing in the morning, rolling over and going straight on Instagram and then just sitting in my anxiety around, um, have I got enough likes? Am I popular enough? Oh shit, I've lost another thousand followers because I've changed so much and like all of this stuff that's like happening externally to me that I can't control suddenly starts getting caught up in my mind and it leads to me having like a really anxious day. Um, but no more. We have control now. We're taking charge of our, our thoughts. We're taking charge of our existence and um, yeah, it feels really good. I just had a really big release, like a really big cry, and it's actually the third one that I've had today. Not a sad cry, just overwhelmingly happy. <sighs> just so like, happy tears. <laughs> Literally what is better than being so happy that you cry. I just feel like everything is aligning in exactly the way it's supposed to be. I feel life force energy rushing through me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be at all times. I hope you guys are feeling good. And yeah, just a reminder to let those emotions flow. Mm, I feel like it's a feeling of ecstasy but without the drugs. Oh my gosh. Juicy human experiences of feelings and emotions and manifestation of energy running through me. I love you guys so much. I'm full, full of love right now. I don't even know what to do with myself. When you embrace like what it really is to be human, embrace these emotions and, and um, try not to control everything and pretend that like that you're in that you're in control of everything. This is what I work for. This is the reason I do this work, this internal work, this shadow work, because I want to live my life like this. I want to. I don't want to be scared. I don't want to live in fear. I don't want to be controlled. I don't want to be on an automatic like program, pre-programmed thoughts of fears that are running through my mind that are causing me to react to everything the whole time. I'm, in, I'm free, I'm 
free and I am an emotional, feeling, sensitive, powerful human being. And I feel like I've just shown up to the party in the last two months in my life, really. And it has nothing to do with what I'm achieving or what I'm doing externally. This is all internal work. Hold on. So you got to give me a second. I haven't right, vlogged right. in a while. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, can do, you can do some takes. Ben, ben and Connor. You guys have just been in an ice bath. Yep. Yeah. It's a big thing they're doing now. Okay, uh, ice bathing. Yes. Yes. Everyone here has been doing an ice bath. Ben's going to do it with us. I'll let him okay, so this is it. Louis was showing me this last night. It's Two good. degrees C. Yep. So <laughs> we've had between like 0.4 and yeah. 0.1 or one. That's, That's cold. Like, this is good. Listen, I'm used to like coldest is 11 in the Atlantic in Cape yeah. Town, and I find that pretty cold. So this is going to be yeah, it's going to be cold. Oh, by the way, um, Louis and Ryo have gone to Buffer Festa in Toronto so for a few days, which is why they're not in the video right now. Um, Thankfully, they're lending me their bedroom whilst they're away, so I got a place to stay. We'll be able to get through it. <sighs> Bit of Wim Hof style breath work first. <sighs> All right, I would turn, turn it, go around. around, go the other way, yep, there you and go. then start it. All right, timer's on. Yep, keep. No, long deep breaths, long deep breaths. Yes. Arms in? Oh. Uh, no, you should keep them, I mean, arms out is better, it's easier. How do you feel? Uh, yeah. Yes, it's, <laughs> One, four minutes. <laughs> Man, Whoa. that was like four minutes and 20 seconds. 420! That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys for that. Good work. Been sitting out in the sun warming up after that ice bath. Pretty happy with four minutes 20 on my first go. Alex, you're on the vlog now. Woo! Dude, good to see you again. This reminds me of Cape Town so much. Whoa. Nice to get stuck into some nature. This is Lanka. Everybody meet Lanka. Hey, Lanka. Hey. Don't drink this. Lanka is from Sri Lanka. Yes, you are beautiful.